Okay, let's look at the job we've got on today. We've got these walls quite high as you can see. It's got some patching in to do. And we've also got this wall, so we've only got two walls. The reason I wanted it done, if I had to decorate and do the rest of the room. Oh yeah, and the room's full as well. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere, but anyway. Um, the decorator said there's a lot of level issues, so this is a lot prouder than this. Up there it kicks out. What they've done is this room's obviously had some patch in it. That's obviously been a section that's been placed in. Look at this board that's just been put into place. Don't really know why it's been done that way. Look at the levels here. Let's see what we've actually got to work with. So, if we were to follow that wall, it's okay at the top If You can see it's a massive kink. But then where they've put the board in, they've made a massive belly. So it kicks right out in the center. Now, if we were to follow that, we'd lose our skirts. It's even worse. Starting to lose it there. You can see the belly's creating a bit of a gap in the top. The obvious answer would be to rip this wall out and start again. That'd be the way you'd get this wall flat, but they don't want it. So the issue is they didn't want to spend loads of money on it. What we've got to do is try and patch it in and make it look like the walls aren't all over the place. The truth is, it's got a massive belly in that wall, you can see. If you run your eye down it, if you can see it kind of kicks in at the top, comes around, bellies out, and then comes back in. So our job is to kind of make it look like it's kind of flat. Got some patching in to do. And the other nightmare is yesterday, I was on a job where they had a skip. Literally got rid of all the plasterboard in the uh, in the van. So, so I'm hoping I've got a little square for this, otherwise I've got to go and get some. We've got a strip of plasterboard. Literally, that is all I've got in the van but it'd be enough. So let me show you a quick tip on how to get this patched in rapid. Small stick, put it in between, put it edge to edge, pull it in tight with your hand, pinch both sides. That's your fixing, put it into place, and voila. Scrim tape. Job done. Now before we start bonding up, I'm gonna PVA the walls, but I just have to show you this. I've been using this stuff, Evo Stick, super concentrated PVA glue. I'm not joking, it is strong stuff. <laughs> if you don't have to use as much water, and not only that, it dries rapid. I mean, an existing plaster, PVA will dry very fast. Even there, where it usually takes forever to pull in, it's already dried. It's very, very good stuff, so, if you are looking for decent PVA, get some of this, because nowadays all of it just feels like it's been watered down, but that is absolutely decent. But it's expensive, so. So now I've got a mix and undercoat plaster that's gonna take and allow for that difference in walls, and this is what we're gonna be using. For any patching job, should be using British chips and bonding. It's designed purely for patching on medium to low suction backgrounds, which basically means anything where there's existing plaster, plasterboard, anything that hasn't got much pull on it. So if it's brickwork, masonry, that's a high suction background. Anything like this, which is existing, is a low suction. And this is exactly what you're gonna use. plastering up to this point, so we're finishing there, but we're intentionally tapering down, so when it comes to the skirting board, we're stopping short. So we're actually taping the walls in, a bit of a bump that way. So we're actually coming to the bottom of the skirting board level, we're stopping short, and we're giving it a natural taper. So we're not actually making these walls flat, we're tapering them to the skirting board, so you don't want to use any of the features, lose any of the features like a skirting board, coving, whatever, to stay the same. So, you apply the plaster, roughly put it on. Now we take the straight edge, starting at the bottom, you can see the difference. There's a massive gap there. But that's how far I've got to taper it in. So, we're literally tapering it right to the bottom. So let me show you. So 
shot steps is pulling off. Then try and put it across as well. So that's what we're dealing with. We're not going to have flat walls, we've got to taper it down. We're actually going to have a belly, but it's the only way you can keep the features like the skirting board and the coving. It's the only way you'll do it. So we've got the bottoms, the tops done. So that's tapered in. We lost the cavity where the picture rail was. Well, I just want to quickly address this. Where the old board's been put in place is a little crack and you can see where it kind of kicks out. Now, I'm not going to get rid of the kick, but I want to soften it a little bit. So I'm going to hit some scrim tape across there and then kind of try and just add a bit of plaster underneath. Just try and soften that blow because it is quite, especially there, there's a bit of the kicks through. So I just want to soften the blow a little bit. Tape along that line where the dado rail was. We've got scrim all the way across there, so that's cool. Now, like I say, it's never going to be completely flat, but if we can just soften the blow a little bit. And try and blend that section in. Especially there. Now here we're just doing it by hand because we don't actually have anything that will get this wall straight. We're just doing this by hand now because we're just trying to make it a bit softer when we apply the plaster. And our aim is to lose any particular bellies. We want to lose it at least by eye. So. We're never going to get this wall flat, but the idea is to make it look flat. So if we can lose any major, any major ice falls, any big bellies, any little dips, we can lose that and at least by eye it looks straight, then our job's done. Because in an instance like this, we're never going to get the wall completely straight unless we rip everything down and start again. And they just didn't want that. So we've just got to try and do our best to make it look flat. So it's been second coated, we'll get it a little flattened. At the moment you won't even know that there's different levels. There we have it, walls look flat, got them on, and the only thing that will give it away is the corner, when you look down there, that is what will tell us whether the wall is straight or not, but other than that, we've done alright. So it's not always about getting your wall dead flat, it's about making it look flat. <laughs> If 
thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. But if you want to see the right way on how to plaster a wall and get your walls dead flat without using any plaster board, just solid plaster, then click this video here. You can watch me where I show you the full process in detail. And subscribe there. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.